I don't want to yell at the dogs. It brings me down. Hello, welcome to Pretty Good Cooking. Tonight we're gonna make a special episode, um, which this idea has been requested before in the past by people that I don't remember, uh, but it was recently requested again by a fellow, a, a nice refined gentleman named ST6 Man Rat. And uh, he was talking about how like students don't have the time to cook like civilized people, so he wanted to see some microwave recipes. So I want to start off by saying that this is like, this is going to be painful for me. Um, like it's, it is, this is not up my alley um, at all. And actually, although I've been in, in college forever, I never lived in the dorms, so I, I never lived this way. So this is me trying to be something I never was, I guess. Without further ado, I'm going to make some shitty food in the microwave. Um, the first thing we're going to do is meatloaf. Uh, meat, you can make a meatloaf in the microwave because it's soft and has a, not a whole lot of texture anyways. We're gonna, I'm going to make a big batch of meatloaf mix and we're going to cook it in a, a coffee mug and hope that it works because I've never done it before. But if you wanted to make a small batch, you could do that. But I think this is a little more efficient. Oh yeah, me oh, it's, I'm so sorry. Uh, meatloaf was requested by Brown Chalk Girl and um, Geppetto. So here's another meatloaf. We already made meatloaf with cheese in it. It was a Juicy Lucy, which is in a video behind you. Um, so, meatloaf can be made with any ground meat. I got this big pack of beef. And I'm gonna try to make this without cutting anything. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, cause presumably in a dorm you would have like, maybe a steak knife and a plastic plate. And that's dangerous, so be careful. Um, you really do need some tools. I'll, I'll use a fork. Because surely you have a fork. And you don't have to measure, so I'm going to... This time, I'm using almond flour. I don't question my ingredients. I'm just trying to take it easy on the carbs. Um, almond flour. I'm gonna start with a half a cup, and you, you you can see it looks like flour or maybe cornmeal. But almond flour is just ground almonds. But it works like flour. You could use not flour. You should use breadcrumbs. So you could just use breadcrumbs or bread even. If you had old bread in your dorm room. You could use that by removing the crust. And to that, we're gonna add some pre-grated Parmesan. I, act, I have a block of Parmesan in my fridge, but I figured, my God, those poor dorm students probably do not have a cheese grater, nor do they have a cheese hat. So we have to make do. So, but you probably have some, I didn't get the shelf stable kind, but that's probably what you have, because your life is miserable. So we're gonna add a half cup of that too. Roughly a half cup. All right, add a few eggs to this. Plop her on in there. Okay, and incorporate. So, just kind of beat it together. Should look a little bit dough-like. All right, that's nice and schmutzy. Okay, now we're just gonna put everything together. So, uh, maybe use a tool to get your, your beef situated. You can use your hands if you're a mongrel. So this is your crumbs, whether they be bread or almond, your eggs and your cheese. Dump that in. Just try to get most of it. And then you want to add, um, you could add a splash of milk, like a couple of tablespoons. I'm using cream for the creaminess. A little bit of that. And of course you've got ketchup, because you probably eat mac and cheese and ketchup, because you have no taste or palate or civility. So let's, uh, let's slap some ketchup in there. Probably good. One long squeeze. How about some spices? Uh, cheap, cheap spices keep forever. I mean, they go bad, but like, they don't, it's not gonna kill you, it's just gonna taste a little less. We'll add some oregano. You could add any green herb, but, well, you know what I mean. Not, not just any green herb. <laughs> Smoke weed every day. <laughs> oh, and some garlic powder, and some onion powder. I, power, onion powder. I would prefer to just use regular onions. So if you're a dorm kid, you could maybe, maybe you could have frozen onions that were already pre-diced. Or you could try cutting with your safety scissors. 
But yeah, I, I just didn't want, I wanted to prove you don't have to chop things. And now we, we need to mix it all together. Oh yeah, I, oh god, I almost forgot salt. Whatever kind of salt you want to use, it's fine. And pepper. So it looks pretty awful, honestly, but that's, I mean, it's meatloaf, so you're not doing it for aesthetics. You can make meatballs too with this mix. You just put them into balls. And then microwave them. <laughs> oh god. Okay, that looks... That looks legit to me. Okay, we got our mug. I recommend you spray it with some cooking spray. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just fill her up. Oh my Christ. Uh, this, this amount of beef is like two and a half pounds of beef and like a quarter pound or so is what should go in a mug. So maybe that's like, it's like what, 10? 10 mugs of meatloaf. So cut everything in one tenth. So use three tenths of an egg and <laughs> whatever, this isn't, this isn't gonna be that useful, but like none of our videos are anyways, so so whatever. <laughs> I don't care. Make sure that <laughs> make sure that you leave some room for it to expand. Actually, a quarter pound of meat would not be enough. This was way more than a quarter pound. But just forget everything I said. Okay. All right. Great. Everybody's happy because this is worthless. All right. So you you got some room to expand there. Maybe for safety, use a paper towel. And we're just gonna nuke the hell out of it. All right. Let's, uh, let's try five minutes. I don't f know. Let her rip. Five minutes. See what happens. You should clean your microwave too. Don't be like me. So you're probably like a pot smoking college liberal and you probably just forgot Worcestershire sauce. So let's pull her out and see what's happening. Oh god. It's like a meat log. Well, it just, just takes some, just throws them in there. <laughs> and resume. Oh boy, oh boy. Dinner is ready. You can use your paper towel to hold the mug. Wow, look at that. That looks so appetizing. If you want to be healthy, you could drain it. Or you could just eat it. So, if you were in a college dorm room, you would wash your fork that you used and then use that to eat. But we have the luxury of additional utensils. What a life. This probably needs to cool. But you can see it's solidified in the... Maybe we should take it out of the mug, just for a show. Okay. Who's ready for the money shot? So, you got your grease. Yummy! <laughs> wow! Hey, and you know, if you want it, <laughs> you want to be real gourmet. Oh, cheese garnish. Hey, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. A little ketchup swirl. Oh boy! Okay, here we go. Let's see what we got here. Well, let's break into it first. Did it cook all the way? It did, look at that. Fully cooked. We won't die tonight. That actually tastes like regular meatloaf. That's like way better than I expected. So yeah, this like texture doesn't matter. Cause it's meatloaf. So I hope that you would consider eating that. A little bit truly. <laughs> all right, well, that's part one. We're gonna make some other things in the microwave momentarily. Please hold. Let's do a vegetable. This is actually the main way I use a microwave. For broccoli. Take your broccoli. Fresh broccoli, wow. You're living the good life. Snap off some florets. Take your broccoli, put it in a bag. Seal it up. If you want, you can put it in a bowl because sometimes the bag will break. You only got one bowl and it's dirty because you had ramen, so just throw it in there. You don't need water because broccoli is related to cabbage and has a pretty high amount of broccoli water in it and uh, so you don't need that so nuke for a minute oh it's screaming you can hear the cry of the broccoli help me this cooking method has the added advantage that you can absorb some of the BPA in your plastic bag I love that sound <laughs> well that was fun you can see as I pull it out it's deflated that's because there's a hole in the bag already which is actually kind of nice because Otherwise, you have to open a, an explosive steam bag. Careful, don't put your hands near the, the steam's coming out. Right there, you got fresh broccoli. Fresh, fresh. It's like pretty much as good as steaming it. Add right, a little salt. And you're golden. Except you need to wait a second because you'll burn the shit out of yourself if you eat it right now. So, we'll film me eating a broccoli in a moment when I get the courage. Broccoli is safe to eat. Of course. Well, now. Faithful, lazy asses, you can eat a little bit better than a frozen meal or some ramen. So I'll see you another time with actual cooking, which is not what we just did. Oh yeah, would you, are you a person who is afraid to not use a microwave 
Well, then you better ask us to microwave other things. Please leave your suggestions in the comment section below. Or if I somehow end up upside down, below. That's an editing suggestion. <laughs> Bye!